Hey guys, so holy crap, hey, you're finally making a video. So there are a few reasons as to why I have not made any videos in the past couple months. And I mean, I've posted video and I've made videos, but I just refuse to post them right now. And there is a couple reasons as to why. And one of them is because a close friend member ended up getting extremely sick and passing away recently. And I've been dealing with that as well as working and being a parent and everything, it does take a toll and it gets busy. I know there are lots of parents who are YouTubers and everything, it's just I also have a really busy lifestyle with the animals. But the main reason as to why I have actually stopped making and posting videos is because, as always, it takes one person to ruin it for a whole bunch of people. And so this is basically referring to uh, my series, The Mean Riding Instructor. Obviously in most of my videos I don't sound mean, I'm being nice. And a lot of the times it's just that's when the kids are done their lessons and they're just having a fun time riding or just whatever. And I have had multiple comments on a couple of my posts slamming a child rider. I'm not talking like an adult rider who claims they've been doing it for 20 something years. I'm talking about like a six year old child learning to ride and then them turning on me going, well, you have a monstrosity of tack on your horse's face. When my young riders go through lessons, I will always have a halter and a hackamore on my horse because most of the time for their lesson, they are on a lunge line, which I prefer to clip to the halter because it's just a safer, more comfortable manner for the horse. And the hackamore just stays on just so they can learn holding the reins and everything else, which is usually set at a really loose thing, so no matter if they pull, they can't really do anything. And on top of that, after being told I had a monstrosity of tack on my horse's face, which I don't, considering a lot of you other people put a heck of a lot more on your horse's face, including two bits in your horse's mouth, uh, extra nose bands, and all this other crap that doesn't need to be on your horse. Whatever, to each their own. I don't care, I'm not getting into that. It was the fact that they literally chose to try and destroy a six-year-old rider. She was six years old, and I was literally appalled. I first tried to explain that I did not have a monstrosity of tack, and the horse that the child was riding, yes, does have issues and does like to toss her head, does like to do certain things, and she does this for any rider, young or old. She does this for my adult riders that ride her as well, and it's just an attitude thing she does. She doesn't have any muscle problems, she doesn't have any spinal problems, she has been seen by massage therapists, by the vet, by the chiropractor, she has no problems, it is literally just her way of having a bit of an attitude. And that is nothing where, like, if you work through it and just pretend it's not happening, she's an amazing horse to ride. But the fact that someone out there felt the need to pick on a young child rider just was absolutely disgusting. My riders that I ride in my classes are generally from ages 4 to 15. And I do teach adult riders as well, but I prefer to focus on the young. I do have a couple of adult riders one of them is in his 60s and everything so that's all fun and dandy it was the fact that you were they were picking on a child rider and then calling me out saying I wasn't a very good trainer because I wasn't giving orders and that the horse was confused blah 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 well at the same time you don't know what went on behind camera you don't know what happened prior to that lesson. You don't know if I just had an argument with the kid and said, fine, go ride. And in the case of the one video that I am referring to, uh, the kid happened to be extremely cocky and was not listening very well. And I said, fine, prove me wrong, go and ride. And I was like, whatever. So I filmed it because I wanted to show her parents that she was not listening or cooperating properly and I was at my ends wit with this child because it had been months of not thing but constant fighting refusing to listen and all this other stuff and it was absolutely just driving me insane and I just couldn't believe that someone like I just didn't know what to do with the child so it was just a fun video she was literally just having fun and there you go she was literally just having fun riding and the fact that people literally went out of their way 
to try and destroy a young child rider who was learning. I had parental permission to post her on YouTube, just like I have tons of parental permission to post any other kid underage on my channel. I'm a photographer. I also grab a parental permission for any children under 16 to be posted in my photography groups. And it was just the fact that I couldn't believe that there was enough ugly people out there in the world to literally bash a child. I don't care if you want to bash me. I'm used to being bashed. You can call me a really bad rider. You can call me a bad teacher, a bad coach. But at the end of the day, my kids are going to horse shows. My kids are cleaning up. My kids are doing amazing things. They are literally growing as fast as I could possibly imagine. Like they are just blowing my mind away with the talent that they have and the ones that I actually no have potential and I'm not saying the young rider who was being accused of being a bad rider didn't have potential she has amazing potential her attitude is her is in her, her way and I understand that that's always going to be a problem and everything but at the same time I mean I understand that it's YouTube I understand that you know I'm out in the public eye and I get that but at the same time like she was literally just a child just learning to ride the horse was responsive, she's just not listening or understanding the cues that I have explained to her how to use multiple times and this was literally three times a week she was coming. Three times a week. That's 12 times a month she was coming. And it just got to a point where I just couldn't. So yes, that rider is no longer actually part of my schooling program because of one, the parents and their financial problems, which I tried to overlook for the sake of the child. But when they started asking me to start buying their horse, their child riding gear that I did not have the money for, I just had to step out on that. Cause I mean, that's not fair for me to provide for your child when you want them in the riding lesson. Oops, it's gonna fall. Ooh, that was a horrible noise. So I'm frustrated when it comes to that. So for now, I'm gonna be holding off on a fair bit of videos because I have been criticized for my weight, I have been criticized for being a bad teacher, a bad coach, I have been criticized by what I do on my horses, and I've had children criticized, which is disgusting, and I will not stand by that, so for now I'm just going to hold off and maybe regroup and come up with a new riding series or something along those lines. Your face is so dirty. Did you grab the wacket stick? Okay. <laughs> And so, that chair out there. Yeah, do you want to go put it back there? It goes by the mounting block. No, I'll put it. I'll put it in the car. You put it in there. Yeah, I'll put it in the car. So, it's a lot of things. I can handle a lot. When you go and decide to pick on a child who's learning, that's where I'm going to draw the line. And if you happen to be a subscriber or happen to watch this video, you are literally a pompous jerk for picking on a child rider. And I mean, yes, in the video, I'm not coaching her very well. Yes, I'm clearly just sitting there. Clearly, I'm bickering and talking to my daughter that was sitting beside me. But that is besides the point. The point is, is she was on her free ride time. So she already had done her lesson and then I let the kids have a free ride for about 15 minutes where they can either walk, trot, do an obstacle course, something fun that they enjoy so they don't burn out from wanting to do it. Because when I did lessons, I burnt out really quick. So anyways, this will probably be one of the last videos for a little bit until I decide what I'm actually going to do because I don't want to have to start blocking off comments because that was ridiculous and I don't care if you want to thumbs down the video go for it if that makes you feel better go for it I mean whatever just don't pick on a child like what is wrong with you so I mean yeah I'm gonna end this because it's gonna be a really long video otherwise and uh, I will hopefully see you guys soon we will see what the future holds for right now and uh, I love watching her climb over so, like, uh. anyways, I will try and find a way to make new videos, but I will hopefully see you guys in the next.